We are going to Art Style Pool. We are. We're going to go sit by the pool for a little bit because I'm going in the pool. We are in between cooking things right now. I'm gonna make that homemade pizza in a little bit. So um, we thought, well, we'll get some muggy hot air in the pool while we're looking for living our best life. Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here, thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today's another crazy, busy, really hot and humid day today, unfortunately. Finally, there's a little bit of a breeze. This is the first time all day there's been a breeze. It's been pretty wicked hot and muggy, but they're working on construction in there. I've got a bunch of stuff I've got to do in the kitchen. I need to make uh, another batch of cheese and I'm gonna make some ice cream for tonight because we are having a Twilight movie marathon this evening. We watched the first couple last night and we're watching the next couple tonight. Life with a tween and a woman who basically is still 12 years old when it comes to her movie choices often. Let's get to work and show you guys what we've been doing in the uh, mud room. So as you can see, they got the light fixtures installed and the door put in. There's still some finishing touches on the jam that need, that need to be done. Um, but for the most part, the prepper room is just waiting for the shelves to go back in at this point. So probably this week, which is very exciting. This week, I'll be able to move all the racks, I think, out of the dining room area and put all of the prepper items back into the storage prepper pantry and put my dining room table back in my dining room instead of in my kitchen. So that alone, I am really looking forward to that part. They also have taken out in the mud room, there was a door there, there is a door no more. Uh, they're working on sealing up that wall. Um, they're leaving the one window, I think was the final decision. They've changed, Mike's changed his mind a few times on certain things, so I kind of am just hanging back on some of those decisions that I don't really care that much about. Just for argument's sake, I don't really need to be involved in the minutia of certain projects when he takes something on, just like he doesn't need to be involved in the minutia of things that I do with the animals. That's sort of my domain, and this kind of thing is more his domain. But I am excited to get that done because once that mud room is the walled in on the one side and drywalled the rest of the way, because only one side is drywalled right now, once the rest of it is drywalled and insulated, not in that order, Frankie now will be able to get in there and paint, which I'm actually going to paint it the same color as we did the prepper pantry. Because number one, I have paint left over, and number two, I like the color. So I think I might actually end up doing the dining room in that color since I have so much touch-ups and things to do in there. I might just go ahead and paint the whole thing, but we'll see. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> close the door because they have their music on so loud out there while they're doing construction and they were letting all the flies in the house again and I don't think they need the door open from the house to there it's not like they're getting air conditioning out here there's yeah. no air conditioning in the house to like help cool that off it's, I don't understand the logic and I'm in here trying to make cheese and get ready to make goat milk ice cream and all this and I'm like I don't need flies in my kitchen y'all anyway and then they hit all the fly swatters so, and the actual air conditioning is in the pantry right now. That's true. They actually here. have the air conditioning where they are, and we don't have it in here. So why they have the door open, I don't know. Man logic. 
Um, right now I'm actually making a syrup and letting it kind of reduce down. I'm in here doing a bunch of projects again. I feel like lately every weekend because of the goat milk, I'm like, okay, I have to make cheese. I have to do this, I have to do that. So I feel like I've been spending a lot of time in the kitchen on Sundays trying to do everything. Tonight we are doing some goat cheese pizza. I'm using some of our pluots that were sitting on the counter ripening since we did the jam. So that's what I'm making the syrup with and I've got this old, I've got this like liquor cabinet from, like I'm not even kidding, this has, this moved with us from the old house. I've had this bottle of pomegranate liqueur for I don't know how long. But anyway, I'm adding it to this to uh, help reduce it down to really make a nice syrup for the, over the ice cream. I think what I'm also gonna do is I've got some chocolate chips, the mini ones that I'm gonna put in the ice cream to mix in. And then I'm also going to add, um, we've got one jar of uh, Pluot jam that's in the fridge that we've been eating off of that's just got a little bit left in it. I'm gonna swirl that throughout the ice cream towards the end of the mixing process. I think that's gonna be delicious. I'm excited to give that a whirl. We've got, I already got the goat cheese in here. Goat cheese in here dripping. It's got another 30 minutes left to drip. Next week, I found a recipe that I really like for the mozzarella goat cheese. So I'm gonna try making that next week. I did get the rennet already and the citric acid that it calls for. So I'm gonna try my hand at making mozzarella, which probably would have been a good idea to do this week since we're doing pizzas. These lovely heirloom uh, accordion tomatoes that Mike has got several of on the counter here that are, are ready to be used now. So these are gonna go on the pizza along with some fresh basil that we have growing in the windowsill and that white sauce that I'm gonna make out of some goat milk and uh, Mike's garlic. And then of course the goat cheese is going to be the cheese, which is not gonna be mozzarella goat cheese, but I feel like it's still gonna be fine. It's just gonna be a little, I mean, her goat cheese is very mild. There's no goatiness to it. So it's, it's gonna just be very cheesy. And I think that'll be fine. So that's the plan. It's just not gonna be that stringy kind of cheese. It's gonna be like goat cheese texture. And I think that's fine. I don't think that's a big deal. All right, we're gonna get Mike's opinion now on the syrup that is not done yet, but it's at least he'll get an idea of the flavor. It's the only opinion that matters. Is that so? It's gotta thicken up a lot. It's got a little bit of a tartness. Yeah. And a sweetness. Mm -hmm. What are we putting it on top of? Ice cream, goat milk ice cream that I'm making. Yeah, that'll be good. I wonder how thick it's gonna get when you cool it off. I'm just gonna let it sit at room temperature. Oh, we're gonna put it on the ice cream at room temperature? Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be good, good stuff. Yeah. Just finished making the white sauce pizza for the white pizza. Now it came out a little bit darker. I used a different kind of garlic and I don't know why this pan, I should use a different pan. This pan always gets scorching hot and it actually scorched my garlic a little bit. So that's why it looks a little bit more brown. But I tasted it and it tastes amazing. I'm gonna go really well on the pizza. I got everything ready to make the ice cream for a little bit later. And I'm on my 14th round of doing dishes <laughs> while I'm working all of this. And I'm just now gonna be pulling my cheese and getting that separated. Then I'll have a little bit of time to maybe go hang out by the pool before we have to throw the pizzas in the oven. So, sounds like a plan to me. All right guys, so it's the next morning. I didn't get a chance to come back in here and film last night. So I'll give you the update. A little out of order of the video here, but this is what they finished on Sunday. They demoed this uh, door out this weekend and then got it insulated and got all of the electrical rerun through this wall for the lights and the fan that's going in that corner. Then in here, get the light turned on. So Mike came in here yesterday and after we painted, decided that he didn't like some of the seams and spots, so he re some of it. Oh, that man. I told him, I was like, I don't know if you're gonna like how it's gonna look. So anyway, so Frankie's going to, I'll probably come in here later and knock some of these little peaks off again. And uh, like, you can see there's like, a little bit right there. And then uh, let her repaint this, these spots and touch it back up so that it's smoothed out. But, so that project needs to be slightly redone. 
But that's that's Mike's MO. He likes to do stuff like that. He'll be like, go ahead and paint, make sure it's done. And then he looks at it again and he's like, oh, actually I should have done X, Y, and Z. Bless his heart. Anyway, so it looks pretty good. It's coming along. They're gonna drywall this next week and drywall the rest of the section of the last room on the other side of the pantry. And we'll be rocking and rolling. All right, so my cheese has been hanging for, I let it hang a little bit longer today, um, more like an hour and 20 minutes because I wanted it a little bit drier. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it now and then form it, throw it in the fridge. And then she and I are gonna go hang out by the pool for a little while because, well, we've deserved it. But first you have to put those dishes away that I washed for the 14th time. I don't like it. I know. Whatever well, you have to do with your cheese. That's right. We are going to Art Thou Pool. We are. We're going to go sit by the pool for a little bit because I'm going in the pool. We are in between cooking things right now. I'm gonna make that homemade pizza in a little bit. So um, we thought, well, we'll get some muggy hot air in the pool while we're here living our best life. You gonna sit right here? Or you gotta sit over there. Uh, we're gonna go over there. I wanna get in the sun. Oh yeah, that's shady. Just gotta be in the sun. Sunny in the morning. Shady in the afternoon. Where'd my cat go? He was over here earlier. I don't see him. So it's time to get in the pool now. It is late afternoon, almost early evening. They're almost done for today. We're gonna hang out here for about maybe 30 minutes, I think, before it'll be time to start those pizzas and enjoy the rest of our evening. It's been a busy day. I feel like I spent 90% of it in the kitchen, but uh, I did get a few things done around the farm too, but I didn't have the GoPro for that. But that's all right. And I still have to milk her and do my evening chores, but I'll, uh, I'll make Frankie help me with that. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell so you get the notifications. And don't forget, talk less and do more.